Bourbon, Mr. Ewing. Oh, thank you, Cassie. And plain soda. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, here's to your career. Thank you. You know, Nathan, you showed a lot of guts yesterday, closing my field down the way you did. Well, I must say, I was a little nervous. I figured you'd be furious. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was at first. Then I realized you did what you had to do. But what I admire is you did it without considering what might happen to you. Now, most politicians don't act like that. Now, tell me, how serious are you about running for higher office? I'm very serious. Well, then, I think we ought to talk about me giving you some financial backing. Well, financial backing is, is always welcome. Now, honestly, what do you think your chances are? Uh, Lila. Lila. It's J.R. Ewing. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was you. Well, how did you recognize me after all these years? Well, it was easy. You haven't changed a bit. Oh. <laughs> well, if you can say that, you haven't changed either. You're still a big as liar as you ever were. <laughs> i like to introduce my daughter, Rhonda. This is a very dear old friend of mine, Mr. J.R. Ewing. Hello, I've heard so much about you. Well, I'll be darned, a daughter, she's just lovely. Oh, listen, uh, excuse me, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, uh, Lila. It's Cummings now. Lila Cummings and her beautiful daughter, Rhonda. Uh, this is Nathan Billings here. Mr. Billings, how do you do? So, would you join us? Oh, um, I'm sorry, we have a table, and um, there are a few things I'd like to talk to my daughter about. You see, Rhonda's just out of college, and I'm helping her decide what sort of job to look for. Oh, really? Uh, what kind of work are you interested in? Well, I'm not sure exactly. I was thinking about something in public service. Public service? Well, that's, uh, that's really more up your alley than mine. Uh, Nathan here is the head of the Texas Energy Commission. Oh, you're the people that uh, oversee the oil industry. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, he keeps us all men from getting ourselves into too much trouble. <laughs> Uh, say, your commission needs help from time to time, doesn't it? Yes. Why don't you talk to Rhonda here? Maybe you can fit her into your organization someplace. Well, if there were an opening, I'm not sure how much salary it'd pay. The commission operates on a shoestring. Well, I don't think it's so much a question of money, is it, darling? Oh, no. You just want to do something that's worthwhile. That's right. Well, why don't you exchange numbers, and then maybe you can get together and talk sometime? Well, we would love to, if it's not too much of an imposition. Not at all. Please call my office. Thank you. I will. JR, it was awfully nice seeing you, too. Maybe we could get together sometime also. I'd love to. I'll call you. Thank you. Good to see you. Rhonda. Oh, you know, I really cared for that girl back in college. <laughs> I wish I could find a way to help her out. Well, if she calls the office, I'll be happy to see what I can do for her daughter. Really? Well, Nathan, I'd consider that a personal favor. Huh. I guess I'd better get dressed. Oh, would you like a drink while you're waiting? Uh, no, thanks. Nothing? Well, maybe a soft drink. A soft drink. Wouldn't you rather have a drink drink? No, I, I don't use alcohol. Oh, OK. Oh, excuse me. You know, I can't tell you how excited I am about this job. And I'm very happy to be working for you. We're very happy to have you. I just hope I don't disappoint you. I'm sure you'll be just fine. You know, you're a very attractive man. I'm also a married man. I won't tell if you don't. realize how attractive you were when I first met you. Perfect. You know, if she was my real daughter, I would be very upset. 